Hey guys, Ghostboy Ghoul again. I play a lot of Ever Crisis, I stream this game on Twitch, and I upload some stuff to YouTube here and there. But uh, uh the last couple nights I I've been grinding Bahamut very hard two and very hard one. I'm gonna show you guys a few playthroughs that I've been through with some free-to-play players, including uh Squabble and Shannon here. I'm just showing my setup. I go through it really quick here in my recording. Uh, so if you're curious on anything and I went by too fast, feel free to just pause the video and then you can check out stats and uh, get everyone got added on here. I can only really see my own, uh, but I do show the teammates here in a moment. Um, I'm going to show a couple of different runs on grinding the co-op for Bahamut, uh, including uh, very hard two first. This is very hard two, which is the hardest one. And then I'm going to show you a couple options for very hard one. Now, um, the recording I did for very hard two here, um, I did a cactus run, and the reason I sh I'm showing this specifically is because I actually played the night before with somebody who's um, a borderline whale like me and another free-to-play player. And we still could not get S rank on very hard two unless we got a Cactar. So we only ended up getting S rank on Cactar runs. The Bahamut battle is quite hard. He's very beefy, tanks a lot of large hits. So, um, but pretty well. Icy Sephiroth is amazing in this fight. Bahamut's not resistant to ice, so you can use the ice potency to its full potential here. Or, maybe not fullest, but you can use it to a lot of potential because you can't hit an elemental resistance uh, down on him because it's not weak to ice, right? But you can still do a lot of damage. I think I was hitting consistent 21Ks with my magic attack up uh, th 3 um, by 3 there. So, let me see here. Friendly stance, get my magic attack up by 3. Let's see how much damage I do with an aerial frostblade plus here real quick. Um, Shannon free to play over there, but basically just using heals, and she's using something that, that uh, she actually taught me in these battles, where she does Raging Sphere right before Bahamut goes to do one of his cutscene attacks, or whenever one of us do another Limit Break, and it actually gets her the Limit Break or Summon Charge without even using, without using any ATB, so that's really cool uh, that she taught us that. And, uh, yeah. Squabble and Shannon are both free to play, so this can be done with three free to play, I'm sure, as long as you just have the right setup and whatnot. Squabbles and I are just trying to get as much damage done as possible, and Shannon's pretty much just healing, and she gets some um, mana breaches and debraves in here and there. For us. Now, this run wasn't the most ideal run. Uh, I think it's fine uploading a bit of a broken run here. Um, because ideally, we would have waited for three summons to get the most multi multiplier for the damage there. Uh, yeah, we would have waited for three diamond dust. That probably would have been better. Definitely would have been, but hey, it is what it is. Oh, that's a follow on uh, oh, subscription. Akagami, no way, I'm not even live right now. That's it. Well, thank you, Akagami. <laughs> Here I have uploaded a video, that's gonna be in it. Um, that's... So yeah, I'm, like I said, I stream on Twitch, but uh, this video is going to YouTube. <laughs> cool. Okay. Well, hey. Anyways. Some, uh... We're getting our aerial, aerial frost blades in here. And... Quite pretty straightforward. Frenzy stance, aerial frostblade. Two people just doing the DPS back and forth. Um, the healer's really doing the most here with the uh, using a raging spear from the prism rod every now and then. I mean, you could use any uh, if you have a sunbrella, that would work um, better too. But yeah, as you can see how beefy this is, I think this fight actually takes about three and a half minutes because you, you can't speed up um, co-ops either. So it takes about three and a half minutes very hard. And the drops, I it was pretty difficult to tell whether they were actually being better 
from uh, very hards as opposed to hards because we only got S ranks on very hard twos. Sorry, very hard two to very hard one. We only got S ranks on very hard twos when we seen cactars. Now, we got S ranks on very hard ones every single time we did it, and because it only took a little over two minutes or two minutes flat. Uh, to beat very hard one as opposed to taking three and a half minutes to beat very hard two That we got through more rounds more often during our grind for these weapons and Because we're going through more rounds per hour We uh, had more chances of cactars per hour as well. So that helped actually increase our uh, weapon drop rates and I think over time grinding very hard one with free to player free to play players was working out better than grinding very hard too. There was one round I did at the very end of the night, it's not shown in this video, where I went in with another whale and um Dragon TC's healer. You'll see Dragon TC in the next fight, but they weren't using their healer. Uh and I think we S ranked uh very hard to without um without a Cactar. So it is possible, but you got to be able to deal a lot of damage very fast, right? So, um, I think most of the time, and from what I've seen, because I was actually hanging out in um, Smelly Octopus's Discord. Shout out to Smelly Octopus, one of the greatest uh, Twitch streamers for this game you could watch. It makes great YouTube content too, so definitely give him a follow if you haven't. But yeah, uh, all these players we met through Smelly Octopus's Discord. He's got a great Discord for co-ops. Definitely check that out. But as we were playing and we're chatting away in the discord there's other teams going at it too i think that there's usually like there was like three to five teams going at a time and we're all chatting and that and everybody was struggling getting s ranks and very hard too not just our team so it, i think unless you're doing a mad or insane amount of dps like um you might be better off grinding very hard one for this one as opposed to and this is very hard one by the way my setup for very hard one um, oh wait, no, this is just my setup again for uh, Very Hard 2, but I'll, I'll show you the setup for Very Hard 1 in a moment. But uh, yeah, most of the time, I think most people are going to be better off grinding Very Hard 1 for this, as opposed to any previous co-op summons, if you're around for um, Ifrit, Shiva, or Rama. Uh, yeah, he okay, here we go. This is my setup for uh, Very Hard 1, but if you're around for those, we were able to pretty well get S rank every time. No characters involved on the very hard twos for those. Those, were, But this has been the hardest co-op yet just because the Hamid is so beefy. He doesn't actually have a weakness, so it's better to just use neutral type attacks for the most part. I mean, I do use Motor Drive here, or you can use Icy Sethi, but I was using that setup with Tifa. We've got Dragon TC in here, He's, and Shannon again. So, in this setup, I think on Very Hard 1, we didn't even need a healer really. Shannon, because she was giving the least amount of DPS, she kept a Kira on, on her, where she could use it a couple times, or she had to use it only a couple times throughout the match, like after Bahamut's first uh, big uh, single targeted physical move. She uses it once or twice. I think she usually, tar yeah, she's targeting me. She usually did, because uh, I had the most HP. They'll usually target whoever has the most HP. Um, make sure everyone switches to defense mode right before the dive bomb hits, so you get maximum potency from defense. The sigil thing is behind my head there. But uh, yeah, definitely make sure you hit defense right before he does the dive bomb. And if the whole team does it, then you'll gain the maximum buff. If one person is not hitting defense mode, then you will not get the maximum defense buff. So keep that in mind too. Uh, that's important to note. Um, in in this run, we're we we're a little fancier than in the in the very hard two run. Uh, we try to pump out as many somersaults as, as possible from Shannon. Whereas, um, Dragon TC is using is cross slash because he has sub equipment that brings his limit break potency up and that's why he's using that instead of rama even though he has marisame equipped with lightning potency uh we tested it and he was actually pulling off more damage with level 9 cross slash than he was with um rama level 5 rama aoe level 5 
But, uh, okay, so, of course, I'm bringing my physical attack up as high as I can, using Son Sonic Spiral, just a little bit overkill. You can have probably half the amount of DPS in your equipment than I do. You don't need no, no Mercy or uh, Amaranth Claws, that was a limited weapon that's going to be hard to get your hands on, but, um, Sonic Spiral, uh, or if you have Sonic Strikers with, uh, I think it's Dive Kick, that move is awesome too. Um, does a lot of DPS and gives uh, Tifa some attack. Um, this is just another team composition idea. And these teams, you could use the Sephiroth teams like I was using Very Hard 2 in Very Hard 1 as well. That works just fine as well. You could also use this team that we're using here in Very Hard 2. However, you might just need uh, whoever is giving the least amount of DPS, the least amount of damage per second, should probably be your healer. Healing isn't that important you can be a free-to-play healer you can have no ob on your uh your staff or if you're matt your fairy tale i mean or if you're matt you could be using um his aoe heal equipment that works just fine uh it's pretty versatile what you could do with a lot of pe people you could use um you could also use cloud with uh hard edge bring physical defense down if everyone's using physical defense that works great too i also thought of a setup with tifa with her kaiser knuckles that everybody hates but if you if you've got decent kaiser knuckles like mine are ob7 now i think at least at ob6 you can bring magic defense down times three and if you're using if you're with a sephiroth then that's great too and uh, the Bahamut Knuckles that you're farming for, they're great to hit these sigils that cactars pull off. So here's an example of three cactars. We're trying it again. I just, this is my last recording here. Another very hard one match. And uh, it's basically, I'm basically just th through this at the end here to show you the cactars. It, unless you have insane DPS, it is very difficult to take out all three cactars in this run because when they go to biting time, they use the diamond sigils or double triangle, whatever you like to call it. But uh, it is difficult, so you basically want two people to DPS one, and then break the sigils on the second, and then uh, one usually gets away. I think we did manage to kill three Cactars on very hard two once, and I think it's because we had Shiva summons when we were Sephiroth, and I blasted off my Shiva, and uh, took two of them out at, at once after we killed one of them so it is possible but it is the hardest um hardest i've ever seen to take up cactus before a battle so far in this game uh we start off with the summer salt right away nice and you know what pretty much there isn't much more to say about this battle it is pretty straightforward but uh, i'm just hoping that maybe some of our team setups um gave you a good idea on what you'd like to use it doesn't have to be perfect and yeah, like Shannon's using Omni Strike to bring some physical attack uh, down this time, which is neat. Uh, I can pretty much let the battle speak for itself at this point, though. Oh, yeah, and it was Christmas today. Wow. So, also, mind you, if I've been like breaking up my words or tripping over my own words, man, am I ever tired. I, it was Christmas Day earlier. We ate tons of great food. I hung up with some family. And. And then I grinded this all night long. So, I mean, my gosh. Am I ever tired? Here I am, what is it? 7.39 a.m. in the morning, making this video. So, yeah. <laughs> Anyways. <clears throat> Man, Water Kick does some uh, great amount of damage in this fight, too. Oh yeah, and I've got Shinra Blade OB7 with uh, Kuja's outfit and whatnot, and uh, for like just neutral magic damage, I was trying that, and yeah, you can do a deep, decent amount of DPS with that, but if you've got Sephiroth's um, Edged Wings training garb for his ice potency up and Edged Wings, that's gonna be much better even though he's not weak to ice. Uh, pretty much, I, f I feel like I realized that Shinra Blade is only ever gonna be better than Ed Edged Wings without the uh, training garb. In cases where the enemy you're facing is weak to magic attack and resistant to ice. I think that's the only time it's going to really be, be better or more beneficial. Or um, weak to magic attack and weak to water. 
Not Rama though, because Rama's weak to physical attack in water. So, uh, Shinra Blade with the third materia slot potency for um, a Watera or a Watera Blow is not that effective against Rama. Been there, done that. You want to use physical attack against Rama. Just throwing that out there. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm going to throw my uh, stuff, my links in the description of this video. Give me a f follow on Twitch. I try to stream this game every now and then. I stream a couple times a week. I mean, two to four times a week I try to. Uh, sometimes they're shorter streams, an hour and a half, two hours. Other times they go for a little bit longer. I do play some other ga games sometimes too, but uh, my uh, gaming life has been revolving around this game lately. Now here you see we got rare enemies. We didn't get the 200, even a very hard one, but uh, I think Shannon was every time. I don't have the screenshots, but hey, uh, you do get decent drops in very hard one for getting the ass, more chances of cactars. It's great. So, yeah. Throw me a follow on Twitch. Hit that like button. Leave a comment if you would on the YouTube. Throw me, throw me a subscription on YouTube. Uh, it means a lot. Come say hi if you see me go live on Twitch. I appreciate that too. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, I've got my own Discord too I'm trying to grow. Uh, so uh, come check that out. You can uh, get the link to that in the description as well. And anyways, if you made it this far in the video, damn, thank you. I appreciate it. And uh, hope you all have a great day. Enjoy the rest of your holidays.